Okay, workout tracking in Notion. You want to be able to track both your cardio and your weight training or even your body weight training with Notion? Well, let me show you how. Hey everyone, my name is Christian. This video is a part of my Notion Life OS series. I've built this workout tracker for Notion that allows you to track both body weight exercise, cardio, and just regular uh, strength training workouts. I'll show you how to use this template today, so let's get down to it. You can find this template and many others on my website. If you want the finished product, then just go ahead and go to the website and you can get it there. It's pretty simple, but it has some great features, so let's get started. This is the template page. I will link to how you can find it in the description below. It's on my website along with all of my other templates, so you can find all of them there. Once you're in Notion after you've gotten the template, you should be able to click duplicate right here to duplicate the template to your own workspace. And then after you, that, you've done that, you have these two pages, the main page, the exercise tracker, and the supplementary database, which is the workout exercises DB. This one is for exercise done during strength or bodyweight training, so it's not super relevant uh, to actually use, but it's very important for the exercise tracker to work, and I'll show you why that is a bit later. This is the main page, and that's what we're really concerned with here. Let me just cut over to my own dashboard, and I'll show you how I use this exercise tracker day to day. Okay, so what you're seeing right here is my exercise tracker. I just have it like this on my dashboard, so I can easily minimize it or maximize the toggle, and then I can show or hide it. Same goes for this book right here. That's relevant for now. What we're talking about here is the exercise tracker. I have it shown by default as a list view, which is what you're seeing right here. That's why there's no super advanced properties. I don't really care about seeing that on my dashboard. I just want to see that if I click on the actual page. So the way that I use this tem template is that I have these um, templates, which you all will also will have. You just duplicate the template that I provided. You can find the link in the description. So let's say we're going for a run. We will open this page right here and maybe just write a title for it, run, and then give it a date. Maybe we ran today. This day relation here is not something you should have. This is a part of my daily and weekly tracking and review. So it is not in the scope of this video. I will explain it when I explain my daily journal and my weekly review. So if we're going for a run, well, then we ran some distance, let's say two kilometers. That's what you enter right here. And as you can see, the uh, run has already been set, the type here, because we just used the template and the same for the icon here. But what's important is that you just enter some hours, minutes, and seconds, and then your pace and time will be calculated. So let's just do that. Zero hours, of course, and then minutes. Maybe it took us like 10 minutes or something, and then it took us 25 seconds. It's a pretty good run. It's a good pace. It's got time for two kilometers or miles. The unit doesn't matter. You can interchange miles and kilometers as you want. The same for pounds and kilos when we get to the actual workout tracker. So this is really it if you're trying to add a run or a walk for that matter. You can just use the different templates to add these. So maybe you add a walk. It's, it's the same principle, exactly the same. The only difference is the type, as you can see right here, and the icon that is displayed. The next thing we would like to take a look at is the workout template here. So this is a bit different. Let's just say we did some body weight workout. This is a bit different because, let's just add a date. Let's just say that we did a workout. So what's important is these properties right here. This is the relation to the exercises DB. That's why I said that it's not super relevant to use the database, but it is very important, otherwise this cannot function. Besides that, we have the total weight lifted and the total rep performed. This is called a roll-up, and it works by being connected to the relation here, exercises, which we use in our database that's loading down here. Then we have the properties right here, weight lifted, and we take the sum of that, and much the same right here, relation, repetition performed, and the sum of that. So what we're seeing right here is that we have a link, link database here to the workout exercises database, and it is filtered for the workout that is completed is 
uh, containing this page right here. That happens automatically when you add, um, when you use the template. So just make sure that you duplicate this template. So when we're trying to add a new exercise, let's say we did some squats. Then we add the exercise name. We maybe, we did like three sets of 12 reps with a weight of zero because it's body weight and we did not have any weights. Then of course the one rep max is zero. And then we can see right here, we have total weight lifted is zero, but we have some reps to form here. But then let's add some push-ups. Oh, that's inverted, let me just fix that. We did some push-ups, we did let's say three uh, sets again, we did maybe five reps this time, but we did uh, lift maybe 20 kilos in our hands while we were lifting. Then you would have a one rep max of 25. This is calculated using a formula that I found on the internet. You can see it right here. I don't want to explain this formula right here. And the reason why I'm not explaining anything is because I actually already wrote an article about this entire template and how I made it on my website. I will also be linking to that in the description below. So if you're interested in how all of this was made, just click that link below and there I explain exactly how I made this template. So this is mostly the uh, important part of how I actually use this template. You can add as many exercises as you want and all of them will be put into this exercises DB and just add new ones as you want. And then you will find your metrics right here. And then on my page at least, this is how I've done it. I just linked to the exercise tracker on my dashboard and I can just add these pages easily, like so. Okay guys, this is for this template. Remember, I am sharing all of my templates on my website, so just go ahead and check them out. I'm leaving a link to it in the description. I'm also leaving a link to the article about how I made this entire template. It's written on my blog. I'm leaving a link to it in the description below. If you like this dashboard that you're seeing right here and you want it for yourself, that's available on my website too. It's called the Notion Life OS. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more of the series. I'm sharing everything I've learned about Notion and how I've built all of these systems I have in Notion. I already have a few videos on Notion, so if you want to watch more, check the link in the description below. Thank you for watching.